Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial about the program Ready Replace. With this program you can easily batch replace any of file contents or in file names. Please download it from my webpage softhummingbird.com. The download link is provided in the description. The program is a portable application that means you don't have to install it and you can run it directly after downloading and unzipping. The first tutorial covered the batch replacement and batch renaming of file names. In this second tutorial we will find and replace file contents. The examples given in this video cover the batch replacement in web page contents and files that you get from different programs or machines and want to adjust them to your own needs. Ok, but now let's start. Here we have a folder with some files from our web page. Imagine you change your website name or a URL address and have to change it in every of those files. That means you would have to open each and every one of these files and search and replace this text. With Ready Replace you can do such tasks in no time. Drag and drop the files into the program, double click on the replacement window and define for example replace softhummingbird.com with the new page that you have and edit. Now you see that no replacements would be done. We do not want to replace in file names, so we click here, we want to replace in the file contents. So now you see here how many replacements per file are pending. Execute it and the tedious task is finished easily. Ok, but now let's go here again and undo this change. So click on the swap button over here, update and execute. Ok, now imagine you change the picture and want to update it throughout all files of your web page. Let's say you changed a MOV PNG to a JPEG file. Add this replacement. So this picture occurs 61 times in all of the files. Let's say you also changed another file. So double click here and define. Replace the text icon JPEG with the text icon GIF. Add that replacement. And now you define two different replacements. Now 65 replacements are pending. Another thing you want to change are all pictures that had the height of 24 pixels. You want to change them to 32 pixels. Add that as well. And let's say your favorite font color changed from one color to another one. So you type it in and add that. Execute and all the replacements are done. Ok, let's save these replacements in case we find more files where they have to be done or if you want to undo the changes later. So type in a name and save to the list. If we click on File New and double click from the saved list, all of the defined replacements are back again and can be used directly. So we drag and drop our files back in and want to undo the color changing for example. So we double click on the color definition and hit the swap button and update this replacement. So many replacements will be done. And execute. Now let's move on to the replacements in measurement results. These examples are maybe more something for scientists but just look at them anyway to get the idea of what is possible. Ok, so let's say we have these files over here. Drop them into the program. Now, you can open the file directly from ready replace by double clicking on it or by hitting return or space. If you press the space button, the file will be revealed in the Windows Explorer. So let's open it and look at it. We see that we have two columns separated by a comma and a space and the decimal point of the numbers is a dot. In order to use this data in Excel for example, first we have to replace the comma and space by a tab. So double click on the replacement definitions and define replace comma and space with a tab. Add this replacement. Ok, there are a lot of replacements pending. Then, if you, for example, use the German version of Excel, you have to replace the dot with a comma. So, add that as well. Ok, now even more replacements are pending. And now let's execute that. Now let's compare the old file with the changed file. So, open it by double clicking on it. So, on the left we have our old file and on the right the new one. All we wanted worked nicely and correctly.
Now another example, how to add an extra column to your data. Let's drag and drop these files and look at one of them. There are three columns of data and what we want is to add another column of some data, let's say just the letters ABC. So this is how we do it. We replace a line break with a tab, the text ABC and a line break. We might as well insert a line break like this by hitting enter here. Or we could replace the tab with the character 9 which is the ASCII code of the tab. On the right here we have some hints of what we can use. Enter, tab or any character you want. Ok, add this replacement. 11 are pending for each file. We replace in file contents and execute. Now if we compare the files before the replacement on the left and after the replacement on the right, exactly as we wanted. Now let's undo this change. For that just double click on the replacement and hit the swap button. Update and execute. Now the files went back to their original states. Like this you can also insert a column between two columns and your file would look like this. Ok, the last example is to convert data that was exported by a program called Gvideon. If you don't know this software, check it out. It's quite cool. It's for analyzing AFM, STM and any Surface Pro microscope images. And I have some tutorials on that as well. Alright, the problem with exported files though is their format. Between the values there are always two spaces and after the values there is an undefined amount of spaces. So you couldn't really use that in Excel or something. You can fix this file by replacing double spaces with a tab and then double tabs by a single tab. The result is a nice file which you can now easily import into Excel or different other programs. And you can save this replacement to ready replace and use it always for each new file that you export with Gvideon. Ok, this was it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. You can download ready replace on my webpage softhummingbird.com and also watch out for new updates.